uncovered new details in the past few hours about the former Millersville police chief now being questioned in a theft ring. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Marius Payton. And I'm Tracy Cornett. Former Millersville Police Chief Dustin Carr says he had no idea the item he was selling was stolen. Our chief investigative reporter Jeremy Finley explains how this is all tied to his thin, blurred line investigation. This is George Gregg autograph D. Tom Cox had no idea his passion for collecting signatures and guitars would land him in the middle of a police sting. Of course I was nervous. Wouldn't you be? It all started Monday when Cox learned his storage unit containing valuable country music memorabilia had been broken into and that one of those items, a box drum, was now for sale on Facebook Marketplace. What was the name of the person that was offering to sell? Dustin Carr. Dustin Carr, the former Millersville police chief, profiled in our thin blurred line investigation that exposed people accused of being imposter cops, civilians without state police certification, who we found wearing police identification while working security jobs. When Carr resigned from Millersville to work for the security company Solarin, he lost his state certification, meaning he's no longer a police officer. Keep that in mind when we tell you about the police sting. You see, after Cox saw the Facebook post, his family contacted Goodlettsville Police, and investigators told Cox to get in contact with the seller, Dustin Carr. He told you what he did for a living. What did he say? He said he was a police officer. In fact, here's the Facebook message Carr sent about selling the item. Listen to what Carr wrote. I'm a police officer, and I have a really busy day tomorrow. I have meetings tomorrow in court. So Cox arranged to buy the drum box from Carr, with police waiting. WSMV4 investigates obtained photos of when Goodlettsville police moved in on car. What was his reaction when the police came? Oh no, he said, oh no, I didn't do it. I didn't steal this. Goodlettsville police tell WSMV4 investigates that Carr was questioned and maintains he didn't steal anything, that he had no idea that the items he'd purchased for resale were stolen. Goodlettsville police do confirm they're aware Carr identified himself as a police officer in this message. It just take my breath away when you, when you find out something like that's happened to you. Jeremy Finley, WSMV4 investigates. Now we did reach out to Dustin Carr to comment. He has yet to respond. Goodlettsville police served search warrants today, but they say Carr has not been arrested or charged.